Hello everyone, it's Noah here from iHollywood TV and it's time for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime interview and here to speak about her movie Maps and Mistletoe is Umberly Gonzalez. Hello Umberly. <laughs> yeah. We are doing the oh hello <laughs> there. <laughs> Look at us. It's a Christmas Siggy of it all, you know. Isn't that right, Nutcracker? Yeah, you know? I think one <laughs> Yeah, there he goes with his little, with his throne of a, or whatever, his wand. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nutcracker? <laughs> Happy holidays to you, Umberly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I love your background. It's so festive. Nobody has done a festive background besides me over here, and then you or doing a festive that. background because I've seen your interviews and I was like I gotta come in with a matching energy uh -huh. so mm -hmm. I mean I don't have two trees some of us don't have that kind of <laughs> shit <laughs> uh, well Umberly I like it I'm so glad that you watched and you did a decorative background so ah it looks beautiful <laughs> over there beautiful as I would like to say all right so let's talk about maps and mistletoe first off share with us the overview of what maps and mistletoe is all about because it's such a cute movie it is. Have you seen it? I have. I screened it. Uh oh. oh. How dare I? How, how oh. dare I screen oh, it before it comes on TV? Mm -hmm. I get to see it for the first time on Monday when it premieres, and I'm so excited. Yes. Uh, and uh, so I play Emilia Maria Martin. That's her full name. Uh -huh. She is a cartographer, and she's actually staying home for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So she was just planning on having like a cozy little Christmas until her boss gives her an assignment to make a map of the North Pole. And she is kind of at a loss. She doesn't really know what to do about that because she works with real places, not <laughs> places. Yeah. So she gets a little uppity about that. And he's like, you know, there is a, a North Pole expert visiting in town. You might want to ask for his expertise. And I didn't want to. <laughs> I was like, I don't need him. He's arrogant and not nice. Um, so that kind of follows the story. Uh, we help each other out. He wants to learn about my small town and I want to learn about the North Pole. So we start hanging out just to learn about both of those places and things happen, I guess. <laughs> they do. And I'm right here at the North Pole. Can't you tell? North Pole Express I Mail. Did you? I'd be like, well, no one knows about the North Pole. Why can't I call him? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm a little elf. I need little elf ears. How, yeah. Umberly, I need a little elf. It's a good no. one. <laughs> so how did you get into the mindset of a creative cartographer? Because it seems like something really interesting, but how did you prep for it? I I didn't even know that, that was a thing people did. It was really interesting to go into it. Um, I know that they're really smart. <laughs> <laughs> so much it's like science and math and geography and so it isn't just like oh I want to study maps it's like you need to know so many things and in the film Amelia um, is so savvy with where places are located like mm -hmm. degrees north south and degrees northwest and I actually had to memorize all of these locations like where the Philippines is and all of this stuff so um, I actually got to learn so much while shooting this <laughs> But it was really cool. She, she, um, you know, she's a smart, driven, independent person. And that's why she was like, I'll have Christmas alone at home. I can make this happen. Um, so you kind of see her like learn and soften up as the movie goes along. So, yeah. Umberly, I must just ask, what would a treasure map of the North Pole look like to you? I've never been to the North Pole. I know that it obviously exists, but I, it wouldn't just be just an igloo and like open terrain snow. I would want it to be cozy. I mean, the stories you hear of the North Pole, like there would be little twinkle lights everywhere and probably like real reindeer. Would they wear sweaters? Who knows? Very fashionable North Pole. I, I just imagine myself in like these giant parkas with, I don't know, like mold wine and look at the stars and Northern lights. So pretty much like Fort McMurray, Alberta. <laughs> it's a place that exists here. I used to live there, and we saw the northern lights every night when it was winter because it's so far north and it's mm. so remote that there's not a lot of light pollution, and it was really beautiful. Um, so I'll always remember that. So, Umberly, how was it like to work with your co-star, Ronnie Rowe, who plays Drew Campbell in the movie? He's so good. Honestly, we had the best chemistry right from the get-go uh, to the point where the producers were like, 
this just feels really real. I feel like we should be here. I was like, oh, stop it. Uh, no, we laughed a lot every day. Like, that guy is hilarious. And I think that's what I'm looking forward in the movie, just to see how that um, translates on camera. Because honestly, all of our dialogue and all of our scenes was so us. It felt like it was just us, and we just it just happens to be Christmas, and we're in, we're in Almond. I'll, like, it was just um, so... Free, I guess we had a lot of fun so I'm excited to see that well it looks like you guys did have such a blast filming it and it definitely shows on screen but for the viewers watching what would you say is the big takeaway for maps and mistletoe Umberly? Uh, you know you never know who you're gonna meet and being open to a, a connection and to love um, I think that's the main thing. Uh, this movie is very much a two-hander. Um, there's not a lot of other characters and other relationships it goes into. It's very much Drew and Amelia getting to know each other and going through this journey of like discovery and exploring. So it's kind of that. It's like you just never know who you're going to meet, especially when you just are planning to have a very quiet holiday or a night in, and suddenly everything changes. And yeah. Now, Umberly, how are you going to spend Christmas uh, this year? Because you're all decked out and you're festive on that screen. You know, it's really interesting because uh, in the film, Emilia uh, is not with her family. Um, you actually get to see them, like, through f video chat. And, um, but opposite through to the that. Virtual. I, I, I know. <laughs> they, they do, like, a virtual, like, oh, my gosh, Merry Christmas, um, which is what I've had to do in the past year. I haven't seen my family in a couple of years because of COVID really? really far. They're in Saudi Arabia. And so they got a couple of plane tickets to come here to Canada on December 20th. So I will actually get to have like a family reunion here in Canada. We used to all live here, but they haven't been here for Christmas in quite a few years. So they they get to have a white Christmas and to celebrate with me here. So I'm very excited and hopefully the world is in a safe space where they can travel here, so fingers crossed. <laughs> that is so lovely. By the way, I want to go to Saudi Arabia. I've never been over there. I would love to go. It, tell me something I don't know about over there that I should know. <laughs> Honestly, um, it, it feels very expensive. <laughs> it Honestly, it feels like a mirage. It's like... You know those uh, like Apple TV backgrounds that just come up on the screen and they show you all these like city of lights and it's just perfect, no trash, nothing. It feels like that, like you're walking into a wallpaper uh, because oh, it is so, you. you're like, oh wow. Just like that background right there, that, that yeah. beautiful. Just beautiful uh -huh. architecture, uh, incredible food. Uh, I went to this like nightclub that was outside in the middle of nowhere and it was in the shape of an egg and it had holes in it and you could just see the sky and it was all in the shape of an egg yeah it was literally like a sphere oh anyway i got to see things that i've never seen before and um yeah it was stunning beautiful well now i gotta go i have to go i'm gonna bring my million dollars and go over there to yeah, saudi just arabia one, one should do for like a week <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. By the way, now I want you to uh, teach me something Christmassy in Spanish because you're you, you're you're good with that. I'm not so great and heavy with that. But uh, how do you say is is how do you say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in Spanish? Feliz Navidad. Uh -huh. That's the first one. You're like um what? Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Navidad. Exactly like the song, and then uh, Feliz Año Nuevo is Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad. Año Nuevo. No, uh, nuevo. Nuevo is new, yes. Año is year. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz. Nuevo año. No año. No año. Whatever. <laughs> Bye. Good enough. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, I, I, you know what? I used to have to take like, it was either a Spanish course or a French course. <laughs> Obviously I didn't take either course or I didn't captivate anything from the course. I had to take it in high school and I always was so captivated by um, Spanish speaking, but I, I'm not great at it. I can do uno, dos, tres, cuatro, maybe not cuatro. I don't know. Cuatro is four and then cuarto is room or a quarter. 
Oh, a quarter. Well, I have I have a couple of quarters. I'm going to take that to Saudi Arabia with me. <laughs> <laughs> Just need all you need. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're so fun. I could talk to you. You've been one of my favorite guests this holiday season. I'm just going to say right now, you're going to win an award. You're going to win this mailbox, and I'm going to send you this necklace. That's right. And you can take it back and jingle okay, jangle I'll with me. for the premiere. Send it express yes. so I can, I can have it by Monday. <laughs> I'll send it right here. Look, I'm going to just stick it right here in the mailbox. How, see, I'm Berlin. It works, and it's magic, okay? Because okay? Santa, that's uh, how he does it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go magically it's, away it's, to you. Oh, my God. It's right here. <laughs> magic. <laughs> That's right. We're going to add a graphic or something. <laughs> Umberly, thank you so much. Umberly Gonzalez. That's right. You got to catch Maps and Mistletoe premieres December the 13th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime. Part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. Umberly, you take care and you have a great, happy holiday and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Feliz Navidad. Y año <gasps> That's right. Feliz Navidad. Nuno <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.